Hey guys, please excuse the Shilaji face mask. I had to record this video now because it's in the flow. Super, super early in the morning. I woke up, I've had my adventures and <laughs> exploring the mind, exploring stuff and deconstructing reality, destroying belief systems and all this stuff. But the whole time while I was meditating, I was like, man, I need to speak about this. So I ended my meditation early because it was, you know, when you have like a, th a thought that's just like so strong in your mind that it pulls you away from the meditation or whatever you're doing now. And it's like, I need to bring this down right now. Otherwise it's going to just keep circling. I'm going to spend the next like hour trying to meditate and focus my breathing and relax my nervous system. But my mind is like, Toby, you need to talk about this right now. You need to talk about this. And what it is, it's about water. And I realized that this upcoming masterclass that we're having on Sunday, I feel like it's going to be so amazing. But we didn't do it justice in actually conveying what this is. Like, yes, this is a masterclass, as in like, you just show up and me and Stevan, and we're just going to share like just so much amazing things about water. Like it'll be, it'll blow your mind. And you'll get to experience it and it's gonna just like blow your body too, bloody blow your mind, body and soul. <laughs> because like we're literally we're literally made up of water. And this is the thing that a lot of us don't understand. Like water carries memory. You know when people like speak to water and they freeze it and then the crystals are like really, really beautiful when you're like saying like I love you and they're playing like beautiful music to it like hallelujah and things like that and then when they have another jar of water and they're saying i hate you i hate you i hate you and they freeze it the water is all like incoherent it's all fractured and the crystals don't look so good and it just blows my mind because like yeah as i want to say like this is a master class but this is also a ceremony like this is just a, such a potent ceremony where we are coming together as a very very small group of cells and we're going to be really charging up our waters connecting to the water everywhere connecting to the water in our body connecting to each other's water and harmonizing synchronizing charging ourselves up like i just feel like i'm saying like a lot <laughs> But pretty much, yeah, I would, the whole meditation I was doing before was for the heart. And I realized the heart, like, you know how it's in between all the all the chakras, right? Right in the middle. It's like the merging of up and down. And the heart is actually is what, it's what's pumping the blood around our body. And if you think as our being as right now and a being as a whole. So if the world was our body too, the rivers and, yeah, the rivers and the lakes and everything, all that flowing that is like the blood of the earth and the veins and the arteries and all these like, systems, lymphatic system. This is like the equivalent to the rivers and the oceans and everything of planet earth. Like we are a microcosm in a macrocosm and it, it, yeah, but just as we are, even if we are just one tiny cell, when you charge yourself up, like we are part of the, the larger body, and by doing this, it's just so, so beautiful because it's going to be a, it's going to be a ripple effect. It's going to start like helping everyone around you. It's going to start helping yourself. And I don't know if I'm conveying this right. Like I had so much more in my head, but I feel like I'm kind of like losing the point a little bit sometimes. Also wanted to talk about um, belief systems too, actually in this video. Like yesterday I went to Tea Tree Plaza and I was like just walking around the the shopping mall and I was, I was had to, had to do some stuff. And then I realized, man, I don't actually fit in in regular society anymore. Like pretty much all the f food here, I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't even drink any of the water here. I wouldn't buy any of the drinks here. And I walked, was walking to the shops and I'm like, I'm not going to wear pretty much most of these clothes because they're like not made ethically and then, yeah, you kind of get what I'm saying. And I'm walking at pretty much all these things that like, like the, the pinnacle shopping malls 
and the the material and like system like with the peak of everything they have to offer doesn't go with my morals anymore and like we develop these belief systems that they free us from something but then they also isolate us from something else because when like when i first started like having this like awakening uh maybe like seven or eight years ago it happened so quickly and i was like all in straight away but that completely like isolated me from almost all of society like i didn't want to drink alcohol anymore i didn't want to party anymore I didn't want to see any of my friends. I didn't want to go to university. I didn't want to eat regular food that wasn't organic. At the time I wanted to be vegan, so I was like, I'm only going to eat plant-based. And that was isolating me from like everyone. And it was like putting up all these barriers to protect myself because I saw like I didn't resonate with it anymore. But at the same time, like it was extremely isolating because I didn't know anyone else that was also going through this. If it was like yeah, I felt like I was like going at it alone and I had no community and and friends to support me. So I was like, okay, I'm I'm leaving this is what I know and I'm going to come here, but then I don't know when else was here. But fortunately now like there is like community building and you can go spend time with people and friends and and just like you don't have to compromise your virtues and your values and they hold you strong. Because like what well, what we're all craving inside is genuine heart to heart human connection connection with each other connecting connection with nature and that's why like these days i don't try to wake people up or tell people what to do because if you try to do it too soon and they're not ready for it they're gonna be in this limbo phase this middle phase which is so so difficult because you start questioning everything like the very flavor of of life of life as you knew it kind of gets sucked away and you're eating like the the chocolate the chocolate ice cream or watching the tv show and you're like why isn't this fulfilling me anymore or you're like taking you're drinking and you're in the club dancing or something hooking up with people or whatever and it's like just not fulfilling if anything it's like creating a larger hole and you're like what the hell this this stuff used to always make me feel good and make me feel relaxed and on purpose like playing video games or whatever but now it's just lost all its flavor and i'm looking for the living water the real food like the food for the soul and the spirit because like we are like we have a body and if we're only satisfying the body then we're just going to go after all those bodily desires eating um, looking at things do we touching things doing stuff and we're a mind as well and the mind just wants to think and plan and protect us and like, yeah, keep us safe. But the soul, it's like this like instinct, this quiet thing that lies beneath the mind and body. And the soul is, I don't know, man. Like the soul is like harder to feed because it's so, it's so gentle and so soft. And it's, it's hard to cut through all the, the loudness of the body being like, I'm hungry, I want this donut. And the mind's like, what are you going to do today? What does the person think of me? Oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. Should I post this? I'm bored. There's so much to do. I need to do everything. And then you start doing stuff. Fuck, there's too much things to do. And then you finish it all and you're like, oh, now I'm bored. What do I do? Okay, I'm going to watch TV. Like, <laughs> and the soul is just there, like beneath it all. And that's why, that's why I meditate. And that's why like, I love these times early in the morning waking up when no one else is awake and just like experimenting and tapping in putting shilajee on my face and, and having yeah just having amazing experiences but yeah one more time i just want to come back to the element of water so sorry for the long video and like water as we are literally moving into winter tomorrow winter is the element of water and if you think about water it cleanses things so it's it if you get it if we've got, we've got a plant right and then you start flushing it with water the water is gonna some of it's gonna be absorbed and it's gonna hydrate the plant but it's it's so it's not only hydrating and nourishing it's also cleansing because like a lot of plants will build up 
salts on the roots and everything like that. And then the water will wash the salts away. So then it's like clean, just like this is um, resin now on my face. But if I spray it with some rose water, it like activates it and it can get absorbed again into my skin. Whereas if I didn't spray water on it, it would just harden it, not getting absorbed anymore. So water is like the great, it's like an activator and it's a cleanser and it's and it allows things to be absorbed and it's like a solvent. It's, it's like the, the universal solvent. And yeah, so for this ceremony, water ceremony masterclass, like this Sunday, it is so much deeper than just like the knowledge of, of water. It goes so deep and, it's, and I just hope we can do it justice and me and Stevan can really just tap in and allow like this beautiful element to come through from the heart. And yeah, of course, like use the mind to, to harness the wisdom that we've learned and put it into something that's like cohesive for your mind to take home. Like, okay, spring water is amazing. Structured water is great. Hydrogen water, oxygen water, alkaline, whatever. But this is more about like connecting with the actual element of water and and feeling it and loving it and understanding it. And mm, I think that's it for today. <laughs>